Mom Squad and welcome back to our channel. So I changed up the scenery a little bit. I came into the guest room because I feel like we never filmed in here before. But ignore the mess. Our closet over here is broken. Well, the door is broken. I got clothes all in here. This is like my storage room even though I need to just like clean it up. I've been cleaning all weekend. So if you guys didn't know, I have actually been home alone for the first time ever. Like I have never been home alone by myself ever. This is the first time Bill is out in Sebring for the races this weekend. He gets back when you guys see this he'll already be back but it has been a journey it's been crazy like I can't believe like I faced one of my biggest fears and my biggest fear is like sleeping alone in a house I don't know it just freaks me out but we have security we have you know alarm systems like we have so many things that keep us protected so I felt very safe and it was such a like good time to kind of have like me time because I feel like you know I have been down the last week which is why I really wanted to like kind of like have a girls talk video with you guys because you guys are my family and I want to be more raw and open about things and I feel like these type of videos are really good to be like real and raw because this past week I had been absolutely down in the dumps like my motivation was at its lowest and I think the main reason too was because I wasn't really tan I have been outside tanning for this like last week and I already am like getting bronzed up obviously I haven't been tanning my face as much because I will get into that in a minute but I already am feeling so much more confident I am actually like really pumped for this week to like get ready again to like get the motivation to film to like be on camera because sometimes I just feel like when your mental health is low you don't want to do anything and you don't want to get out of bed and I don't know I feel like I've just been very 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 depressed but honestly it was really good that I was able to have this weekend to myself and kind of like just lay outside you know do some skincare things and you know just do things for me it, it was honestly a very good relaxing weekend and I am just so thankful for it so yeah I just want to be like open and talk about everything that's been going on and give you guys advice and like it's kind of like us on FaceTime hanging out and that's why I said I really like these videos so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you guys haven't yet make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button and join the Marvel family hi Tho want to say hi to the Marvel squad Oh my god, he is so cute right there. It's also super important to follow us on Instagram because this is where we get all of your questions. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions for today's video. You guys have had a lot of good questions that I feel like I really want to answer and talk about with you guys today because I just feel like we haven't gotten personal in a while. So let's get personal. First question is, what is your skincare routine? How is your acne? How do you deal with acne? Just everything skin. So that is one of the biggest reasons my motivation was down. I honestly just forgot to mention that that was like the main focus ever since i moved to florida well pretty much ever since i got off birth control like i think it was like three years ago i got off birth control that's when i noticed my acne was starting to rise and like i would get flare-ups and i would get stuff on my chin on my cheeks and it was like to the point where it made me depressed like I, there was a point where i am just literally so distraught and like defeated it was like to the worst it's ever been that's when we moved out to florida so i thought maybe it was like the florida air my body needed to adjust which it could have honestly been a mixture of everything and like the hormonals but when you get off birth control which personally for me to talk about birth control I personally had not a good experience I will say my skin was the clearest it's ever been but I just feel like birth control you know it works for some people but I know in the long term it's actually very bad for you and that's why I personally got off because I felt like I was dying when I was on it like I would have these weird like heart problems and like I literally one day told Bill I'm like we gotta go to the hospital I'm like I don't feel right but then I snapped out of it and calmed myself down but it was like to the point where I needed to get off this medicine so that's when I when I got off birth control three years ago that's when I saw like my flare-ups this past year I've been battling it but recently my skin has been pretty clear now this last week I woke up with a really bad flare-up let me show you guys so I got a peel here as you can see I had a really bad flare-up I have some on my chin right here I have some right here my forehead's pretty good so far but I did just get a peel to help like tone this down and get it away as much as possible and I love my skin girl she is absolutely amazing and I'm so happy I found her here in Florida if you guys haven't go check her out she's the best she's been helping me with my flare-up acne I feel like now I've been really trying to get my skin right so pretty much I was using proactive I used proactive for the longest time but honestly for the long run I know proactive is not good for your skin it can cause like early aging it's just it's very harsh chemicals on your face and I've been trying to like 
steer away from it. So ever since Friday, I have been using Face Reality. I use the facial cleanser and then I use PCA. I'll use like the creamy cleansers and the toners and the serums and the moisturizers. I really like their brand. So far, I really like PCA and Face Reality and I've heard amazing things about it. I also might be taking Pore Favor, I think that's the name of it, supplements. It's like an acne supplement. I'm kind of looking into it more. I haven't officially um, decided yet, but that's pretty much my skincare. I'm pretty much going to really be trying to clear this up, especially before for the wedding because I do not want bad acne during the wedding. So I'm gonna try my hardest this year to get my skin right, get back to a good skincare routine, and pretty much every morning and night I do the same steps. And also make sure you guys are adding sunscreen. Sunscreen is key to early aging and to make sure that your skin stays pure as long as possible. And I feel like I never took that seriously until recently. With the confidence level of acne, just know you're beautiful. And especially in your 20s, it is normal to break out. It is normal to have hormonal acne. It is normal to have cyst acne just everything just know you are beautiful and you got this like yes it's a struggle and yes it's hard and it feels like you're defeated but just remember like everyone goes through it and you're not alone and that's why I want to spread awareness to show like yeah I might wear makeup and I might cover this up but underneath it yes I do have acne flare-ups I do have acne breakouts like this this is real life like this is what happens so right now I'm in the process of getting it toned down so I'm excited so I kind of hope that helped anyone who is struggling with acne this is a good question have you ever Ever kissed a girl yes I have kissed a girl before I feel like back in high school when I get super drunk with my friends you, you know you give them like a, a pet kiss I feel like that's so normal I don't know I just feel like when you're really close to someone you like kiss your friends and I've made out with girls before yes I have but I never had that like sexual drive where I wanted more it was mostly just me having a good time and like I would just kiss them and make out with them and like it would just be funny for like a dare or like just to be funny I don't know that's just what I used to do in high school um, I used to like kiss all my friends so yes I have kissed a girl and I liked it no I'm just kidding <laughs> What color theme is your wedding? So we did talk about this in our last Q&A about our wedding. Pretty much the color scheme is gonna be like pinks, neutrals, kind of like boho, but also classy vibes. I'm in the process right now of getting my florist and he is like one of the best people in the Southwest Florida and I am so excited to work with him. I'm so freaking excited. I hope everything goes great. He said he was available for the wedding. So I am so excited. We're gonna make dreams come to life. But pretty much my bridesmaids will be in this like pretty blush bubblegum pink and I had all my bridesmaids pretty much in the same dress and shoes just because I wanted to look seamless and I wanted to look really nice and elegant so pinks golds neutrals like you guys will see it all it's gonna be so freaking beautiful and I'm so excited for you to take you guys along our wedding and just everything we got the greatest photographer and videographer like oh my gosh dreams are about to come true and I think that's also why I've been breaking out I've been super stressed with like wedding planning even though it's been fun do not get me wrong it's been fun but I feel like with everything going on with traveling with wedding planning with getting content up for you guys and just everything it, it's a lot and I think that's why I have my hormonal acne because I have been constantly like trying to keep up with everything but just an FYI guys I have been feeling a lot better I'm actually very motivated again and I'm really excited for Bill to get home and get back into schedule any tips for a teenager girl having horrible period cramps so I've struggled with really bad period cramps and I did go on birth control and that really did help but I feel like as the mother figure I want to be to you guys, I definitely say depending on how bad your periods are, stay away from birth control because when you get off of that, I have never experienced worst period pains in my life. Like it was worse after I got off birth control and I was in so much pain. It would knock me down. I literally couldn't even get out of bed. I had to cancel work when I would work um, a normal like eight to five job. Like it was so hard. But for me, what helps me is I take Advil. I'll take like three Advils just for like the first day. And I take that every like four to six hours and I would do like a heating pad. I relax. Um, working out will also really help you like just being active really helps your period in general it helps like the cramps and I noticed like working out has really made my periods not as bad as they used to be but you know like take it easy the first day there's a lot of different ways that can help you with your period there's def definitely different pills um it just depends on the severity of your periods but just know it is normal and it's a part of life and I, I tell myself every day it's crazy how I have to do this once a month for the rest of my life well until you get older but it's just freaking wild this is a good one what are some ways to stay clean down there so it's crazy 
crazy because I've been learning more about like, you know, self-care and cleaning and all that stuff. And there's a lot of different like views on, you know, cleaning down there and how to clean down there. A lot of girls on TikTok talk about how you should only use water, which yes, I get that, but I still feel dirty if I just use water. So what I use is the Summer's Eve. That's a very good thing to keep like your pH balance really well. And it smells so good. It's not really good to use like scented soaps down there because I feel like it just throws off your pH balance. So if you want a good like product to use down there, use Summer's Eve. It has changed the game for me. Like it is the best, but it's like, there's so many different things like for different people. And it's like crazy how some people can just literally go in the shower and rinse off with water and they'd be fine. Like I can never, I still feel dirty. I have to use soap, whether that's Summer's Eve. And you know, for a while I was using my Bath and Body Works soap, which I know I'm going to get roasted in the comments, but I just need soap down there. I just feel like that's just nasty to me. I still feel dirty. But Summer's Eve has changed the game. That's not even sponsored. Like that is like genuinely what I use down there. I think it's like the green bottle or it's like the coconut looking one. I don't know, but it smells freaking amazing. Get your hands on one because I'm telling you. You're down there. We'll be very happy. <laughs> How does it feel to be a fiance? So I don't have my ring on right now because I just was outside tanning. I showered and I just haven't put it on yet. But being a fiance has been the best. It's so crazy that I am one and just picturing like our wedding and like I've dreamt of this my whole life and it's so crazy that I'm about to literally be a wife Like I don't know. It's just wild. I'm so excited It's been so much fun I'm trying to soak in this year of being a fiance because I really do believe that Bill is the person for me forever And he is the person that I have been waiting for and I just love him so much He's so caring and loving and I feel like every woman deserves a man like that Every woman deserves someone who puts you first puts your priorities first and just makes you feel loved But also you got to do the same thing for them too yeah it's been a journey and i have been loving every second of it is it normal to get an acne flare-up on your period yes that is like the main source of flare-ups is your period because you're going through hormones your hormones are out of whack it's so common and that's when i get really bad acne is during my periods so yes that is totally normal how are you so confident in yourself it is so hard for me it's crazy because i might look like i am super confident but at the same time there are days where it is hard like there's days where I look at myself and I feel like I am so ugly and I feel like I don't look good enough I feel like even when I go to the gym like I haven't been seeing results it's just like mental things that you put yourself through sometimes and that is normal but then you come out of it and you're like okay you know what I am beautiful I am seeing progress I'm feeling great I look great and you know just start loving yourself more and it is okay if when you get down on yourself and you feel like you're you're not the best because that's normal that's human we stare at ourselves every every single day. So we like nitpick everything about ourselves, but we have to remember that we are beautiful. God made us who we are and to love ourselves more. Cause I feel like that is super hard and I struggle with that sometimes. And just lately I have been eating better. I have been doing things that have been making me happy. Even just going to lay outside for 10 minutes, do things to, for self care and like for your mind. Cause when you sit and do nothing, that's when your mind wonders. And when you're active and you stay active, honestly, it makes life so much more happy and you're not sitting there picking away everything about yourself and just know you are beautiful every size shape everything anything about you is beautiful and you just have to keep reminding yourself that that's pretty much how I stay confident obviously some days are better than others but I just try to do things to keep my mind from wondering here's a good question how was your high school experience what it's like in a public versus private I love you I love you too Casey I was in a public school and my high school experience was it was interesting I did have a lot of friends. I had a lot of different groups, but I realized that that was so much drama. If one group was fighting, the other group was fighting, or you would start tag teaming on someone, and it was just so toxic. My best advice is to have a small circle. I know in high school, you have like those popular girls who are friends with everyone. Trust me, it is not worth trying to be up there because most of the time, those people that are up there, when they get out of high school, they are the same as you. They're not popular anymore. They're going to literally you guys are restarting life and going into your career or whatnot so like try to remember you don't have to have a big circle to fit in like even if you have one friend if I go back to school I would have one solid friend and I would be content and I feel like
like I was so involved with the wrong crowd that it honestly was super toxic and I'll tell you I had a good high school experience too like it was fun I had a lot of fun like hanging out doing things with my friends and going to events and doing stuff like that like it was fun but I do not miss high school I don't miss anything about it I don't like how toxic it was I feel like it was a waste of time it just drags you down and I know school now is even worse I know kids are worse now like it's crazy how unhappy people are in their lives that they have to drag someone else down especially when they're doing something that they love like it's crazy but you have to remember that people who are, are, are unhappy with their life are gonna drag you down and just know that they're unhappy in their own life and that to keep going and to know that they're jealous of what you are doing so they're gonna nitpick everything that you do because they don't want to see you succeed but you know what the best karma is is showing them that it doesn't affect you and they will go off their own ways just try to stay more to yourself and don't feel like you have to fit in to be a cool girl i wish that was something that i did when i was in high school so stay true to yourself keep your circle small and don't feel like you have to fit into the high school society standards to fit in like it's crazy seeing the girls at school now like crop tops like wearing all makeup it's just crazy because it's never used to be like that so yeah that was pretty much my high school experience it was interesting how do you fix relationship if you get into a disagreement so the biggest thing if you guys get in a disagreement to hear each other out and say you know what I'm sorry that I made you feel that way I will make sure next time I don't do it again just like hearing the other person out and not trying to fight back and be like no you said this no you said that like you guys have to level with each other and say okay this is the root of the problem I wasn't perfect in that situation and you weren't perfect in the situation so let's come together and figure out what we can do to fix that so that it doesn't happen again and you know that's a very good key of a disagreement is communicating if you have to step away for an hour before you come back and talk it's definitely not good to talk when you're super mad like you definitely want to calm down go your separate ways for a little bit and then come back and talk about the argument because i feel like when you're hyped up in that situation it is so hard because you just want to nah, 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 nah. but you have to take a step back realize what just happened and then come back together and solve whatever the issue was and that is pretty much how me and bill go through our disagreements we just come together and we discuss what we did wrong and we try to fix it for next time okay this is gonna be my last question because i feel like i've been rambling forever now tips for friendships in your 20s and i feel like this is a very good question to leave off on for me i've come to my life where i have finally found the people in my life that i want to surround myself with and i feel like it's so hard to find like a good solid friend but you know you want to be friends with people who are going to lift you up who who have similar interests in you and have the same goals and drive because if you're friends with somebody who doesn't push you to do better or isn't supportive of you or who isn't you know trying to get you to do better it, it's hard to have a really good relationship with them because you want someone to pick you up when you're down you want someone to be there for you through everything through thick and thin and i feel like i have found the best people in my life and i am so thankful for that i'm surrounded by people that are motivated and who have the same drive as me and who lift me up when i feel down who are literally like family to me so it, it is hard to have relationships in your 20s but when you find the right people it's the best time of your life like it it really is to have a good solid friend and i'm just so thankful for the people that i do have in my life and the support that i have with them and you know the time that they take to make sure i'm okay and it, it really does feel good because i feel like i've struggled with friends in the past and you know people always come and go and it sucks it sucks a lot but I feel like I'm at that place in my life now where I feel very content and I'm very happy with my life and the people in my life and I want to hold them close and tight and I'm very thankful so my biggest tip is to find people who are going to lift you up and who don't drag you down who don't make fun of you who lift up your success and who are happy for you because I feel like some people are very jealous in friendships and that is a big red flag if a friend cannot be happy for you and because you accomplish something and they try to be like oh well this is than this they are not good friends you want people who are going to lift you up who are going to make you feel good and are going to motivate you that is the key to a good friendship it really is but you guys i hope you enjoyed today's video it felt really good to kind of just talk and kind of have the house to myself to talk because i feel like sometimes when bills around me i get like nervous i don't know why i do but i do and so it just felt honestly really really good to kind of just have a little chat with you guys and answer some of you guys' questions i wish i could answer every single one because I, I could talk for hours but i hope that was good i feel like i'm not the best at communicating or talking sometimes but i've been getting better and i am just so thankful that i have you guys as my family i'm so thankful for each and every 
every one of you for all your support and love. I'm super excited for Bill to get home. Stay tuned for all the videos this week. Make sure you guys comment down below video ideas that you guys would like to see on our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace. Love you guys.